Okay, here we go. Is it D or? Is that right? You, hey, you know women and spelling, you can't beat them. Never beat them, right? Okay, you are cooties infected <laughs> or not cooties infected. <laughs> Okay. Um, four seventy five, two twenty five. Cooties infected, cooties not infected. Twenty five, forty two, seventy five. Okay, this is a a table of patients at, oh, what hospital? Huh? At St. Mary's, I don't know. At St. Mary's, um, whatever, hospital. Okay? If a patient is selected at random, What's the probability that one, the patient does not have cooties? Given that the patient tests positive. Question two the patient has cooties. Given that the patient tests negative. Okay, I mean, some of you guys look at this stuff, it's a little confusing because you sit there and go, what does it mean to be cooties infected yet test positive, test negative? Well, this sort of chart, this sort of table that's common, what they don't ever say to you that I'll tell you is what's happened is people or patients simply were tested twice or more than once. Meaning that by testing patients, the same patient, more than once, you are finding all the errors. See what I'm saying? You're finding the errors. So don't think that everybody in this table is only tested once. No, they've been tested more than one time. You know, as backup. They want to, you know, test you two or three times, independent tests, so that they catch all the errors. Because, yes, it's true that you can be, what, cooties infected, yet test negative. How many people were cooties infected and tested negative? 25. There are 25 errors. Yes, you can be not cooties infected and still test what? Positive, meaning there's 225 people in that situation. There are 225 errors. See what I'm saying? So you found the errors only because 
people were tested more than one time, probably twice. And it doesn't matter what the test is. I use, I use the word cooties. But every test, whether it's um, a pregnancy test, an HIV test, a what? What other tests are there? Anybody get, get tested for anything? Tuberculosis, you name it. Okay, There's a, there is errors. So this is that scenario. You can, you can use, you can, fill in, you can fill in the blank. It doesn't have to be cooties. Okay? So I want you to answer these two probability questions. Should we do it together? You guys want to do it together? Okay. We'll do it together. I was going to let you guys do it on your own and have all the fun, but. Okay, let's do it together. Here we go. Question one, question one, what does it say? First of all, is this a conditional probability? How do you know? Given that, good. Given that, okay? So what does that first question mean? What is the first, they're asking for the probability that the person what? Does not have what? Cooties, given that, does not have cooties, given that the person tests what? The test is what? Positive. Is that true? Compare that to the probability the person does have cooties. Okay, here it is over here. Does have cooties, given that the person tests negative. What's the definition? for these questions. How do you answer the question? It's a conditional probability, so what does that mean? That means of all the what? Of all the positive test results, how many indicated you do not have cooties, but still yet and still gave a positive result? So, take a look at the chart. How do I determine those two values? Okay, how many people tested positive? 700 people tested positive. Where does that go? The bottom, good. How many people, of the 700 people that test positive, how many didn't have cooties? How many didn't have cooties? 225. So, 225 divided by 700, what is that as a decimal? What is it? 0.321. If we approximate this to the nearest thousandths, it's 0.321. As a percent, isn't that 32.1%? Okay, you guys okay with this? So notice what this means. The condition is that the patient has tested what? Positive for cooties.